Welcome to Annabelle's Test Kitchen. I got this cookbook for Christmas and it's Cook This Book by Molly Boz. One of my greatest fears with filming this video is that Molly will watch it and I will disappoint her. So <laughs> Molly, if there's even a tiny chance you're watching this, please, I hope I don't disappoint you. I don't know what else to say. Anyway, I'm super excited. I haven't tried any recipes from the book yet. I did go through and like, as you can obviously see, I put post-it notes on like, all the different recipes I want to try. I did that with every cookbook I received this Christmas. I've just been like into cooking lately. Whether or not I'm good at it, I wouldn't say I've become good at it yet. I'm still really learning. So to me, using recipes is like a great way to learn how to become a better chef. And I know Molly is like a great chef. And her number one thing is that she loves Caesar salads, so. The recipe that we are trying today is the, I have no idea how to pronounce this. Say salad, say sal, see sal. I'm gonna be making the Caesar salad today. I'm a little bit scared. Yeah, in the description for the recipe, it says you have to make a mayonnaise from scratch. I didn't even know that eggs were in mayonnaise until like last year. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry if that makes me dumb, but anyway, so making one from scratch is definitely like exponential growth, I guess, skyrocketing into true home chefdom, which is my dream. I really want to become like a truly competent home chef, like that is the dream. And this recipe, I just hope it helps me get there. I mean, I can't imagine I won't. I would be shocked if I tried this recipe and I didn't learn something. But anyway, let's just get into this. I laid out all my ingredients. I haven't measured them yet, but I laid them out and I thought that was kind of like advanced. So sometimes I just run around the kitchen and grab them as I go. Hopefully we end up with something that resembles this. Oh, another thing that I have to address is that I'm gluten free. Not by choice. I have loved gluten for most of my life, but recently discovered it causes major issues with my digestion. I'm going to spare you the details because they're gross. Gross bodily functions occur when I eat gluten, so we're not going to go there. This recipe does call for like a normal baguette. I don't know if gluten-free baguettes exist in an area near me. At first I was just gonna make this without the croutons, but then I was like, that would just be lettuce with dressing, I'm pretty sure. Basically how I'm gonna substitute for the baguette is I'm gonna try it with gluten-free bread. It's not like a gluten-free baguette, it's just bread, I'll show you. It's just this, so. It's literally like sandwich bread, but I'm gonna try because like, why not? It might not be that bad. It might, something you also have to remember when you're gluten-free is that it might be just good for gluten-free and that's still good. Also, hi, I'm Annabelle and this is Garland Collections. If you're new here, just wanted to welcome you. So we're making the croutons first. I have to preheat the oven. I'm using this gluten-free bread. It's the Canyon Bakehouse Honey White. I'm just gonna use two pieces of the gluten-free bread because if the croutons don't turn out well, I don't wanna like waste it. Okay, so I tore up the bread and now I'm just gonna toss it with some olive oil and salt and pepper. And this is what we got. So I'm gonna pop that in the oven next. Next up, we are making the dressing and the first step is to separate your egg whites from your egg yolks.
I'm gonna use this like microplane. Is that what it's called? I'm gonna use one of these to grate the garlic in. I just washed this lemon and now I'm gonna grate like half of the zest, is what it says, on and in. So I assume that just means like you get half of the lemon to be this kind of like bare color. We're adding like the garlic, so we're gonna get some of that flavor. We're adding some of the lemon, which I feel like lemon and garlic are just like totally a match made in heaven because they kind of complement each other. And I have a lemon juicer, but I'm just gonna squeeze it in with my hand and I'm, I'll just pull out any seeds. So this is where things are gonna get a little bit crazy because the recipe calls for anchovy fillets. That's intense, but I'm gonna pop these open. And it said four oil-filled anchovy fillets, which this, one sec. If this is gross to you, I apologize, but they're clearly more than four in here. And I find it a little bit annoying when recipes like ask you to buy a weird product like this and then you don't use the whole thing. But I'm gonna put that annoyance to the side because I'm really excited about this and I'm gonna choose. <laughs> Sorry, but like, look at this thing. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna choose to trust Molly even though I'm doing something pretty weird right now on her behalf or because of her recipe. Oh my God. I'm not gonna lie, this is a little bit nasty. <laughs> it's a little bit. It's not so bad, but it's a little bit. Next up, we're adding a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Okay, now we're at the step where we whisk. Thank you to Molly because she put a little tip of like putting a damp kitchen towel under your bowl so that it doesn't like move around while you're whisking. I'm just gonna use my other hand to hold the bowl and hope for the best. Now I get why she said to do the damp kitchen towel thing because the next step... Okay, so the next step is to pour oil in while you continue whisking, so... Ooh. I don't think I have vegetable oil, so I'm gonna have to use olive oil. I have my olive oil here and I'm gonna whisk it in. I have to use olive oil instead of vegetable oil, unfortunately, because that's all I have. I hope that still works. I guess we're gonna find out. This is exhausting. <laughs> How do I still have so much oil? <laughs> so close now. <laughs> We're at the final drops. Oh my God, I'm sweating after that. That was like a workout. It really raised my body temperature. I think I may have done it though, which I was very intimidated by. Okay, I just added the salt, the pepper, and the Worcestershire sauce. And now I'm about to grate some Parmesan in using this microplane again. Admittedly for the parm, I'm going more by feel than like actually measuring how much I'm putting in, but I feel like it's kind of a to taste thing. Maybe that's naive. All right, it just broke in my hand, so I'm just gonna use this tiny little bit. So, wow, I shouldn't be holding this knife so casually. Um, So next I'm gonna chop up my lettuce and wash it. If you don't have one of these like lettuce spinners, they're honestly so convenient.
The recipe called for four heads of romaine, but I only did two because I think it's just going to be me and my sister eating this probably. So I'm going to rinse it now. have another microplane out because I put the other one in the sink prematurely. Now I'm just going to grate some extra parm on top and crack some more black pepper on top. Okay, ready? <laughs> Literally, I'm gonna get a crouton. <laughs> mm. Restaurant quality. <laughs> restaurant quality. Oh my god. The dressing is just like glossy, it's just perfect. <laughs> Flavors impeccable never make it another way thank you <laughs> wow <laughs> 10 out of 10 <laughs> i also love caesar salad yeah lily's a big caesar salad stan but i'm a connoisseur so you know my opinion is correct. yeah exactly i'm very proud of how that turned out i think that it wasn't actually as hard as i thought it was going to be the hardest part was the whisking because i thought my arm was going to fall off um, but the dressing tastes like amazing. It has so many different flavors coming through. And also I was so pleasantly surprised by the gluten-free um, croutons I made because I think they taste great. They taste like homemade delicious croutons. I wouldn't assume that they're gluten-free. So this has been a success. Finally, a success story. I mean, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.